Hello everyone. Welcome to the stream today. It is week 18 of the mini paint challenge and we've got a collab today with another artist. So if you're new here, here is how to join the challenge. I post a reference photo every Tuesday on my community tab here on YouTube and on my Instagram and Facebook accounts and then we paint together live. Hey, how's it going everyone? <laughs> and if you would like to join, just make sure you use the hashtag mini paint challenge and tag me at Megan Jossel Art. We also have a collab today, so make sure you tag the uh, collab person. So I'm going to go to the next scene. So this is the collab we have. Oh, I forgot to change the uh, the at symbol. Never mind about that. No, we did Pax Paints uh, a few weeks ago and I forgot to change the at symbol. So um, maybe Arvin could put her username in the chat or maybe I can because I have my phone here. But she is Skylar Blue 3 I think on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and TikTok and stuff. So let me put that on there for you guys. I'm a little out of it today because <laughs> I'm feeling a little sick. I think our son, like I thought it was just allergies yesterday and then now I'm feeling like it might not just be allergies and I might have like the flu or something. So we're going to try to make it through today. Okay. Okay. See there. Okay. Arvin did it for me. Thank you. So that's her at symbol. And then she provided this reference photo for us today. So you can use this reference photo. I have them up on my website. You can download the high quality versions of the reference photos. This is the painting that she did. Um, she does a mix of like digital art and then also a bit of um, actual like painting physical painting as well so she does a bit of mix of both but she did digital art for this one and I love how her like leaves turned out in this one I'm hoping to kind of like focus on like the leaves and that like center orange so I actually decided so I normally edit it into my own style so here's my little edit I decided to take that center orange and just kind of focus in on that with like a nice blue background so that'll be really fun for us to paint today. So I'm going to go to the paint mixing scene. I've got the reference photo up here with my little arrow. I'm going to put this on the other screen. <sighs> Everyone feeling well? Yeah, not not so much today, but uh, I, I will make it through. I had some day quill <laughs> in hopes that would help me and my husband helped me set up the uh, stream today. So I didn't have to do too much, but I think I'll make it through today and maybe the next couple days I'll just rest. <laughs> We're supposed to be having a guest this weekend too, so I'm really hoping I feel better by the weekend. Make sure I drink my water so I stay hydrated. Okay, so we've got... <sighs> yeah, I'm hoping... I hope I hope it doesn't hopefully we heal okay it's probably just like a little bit of a, a flu because it came on really fast last night I was like oh wow that really hit me and then I got like muscle soreness so I'll be okay though <laughs> maybe the painting will distract me today so I'm gonna go through the colors that I have on my palette here with you guys um also maybe arvin when he goes upstairs he can add um skylar's ats on the description because i didn't do that <laughs> just so it's there if you're watching the stream back then you can uh see all of her social media handles i'll put her links and stuff in the description probably after the stream okay so I think for the background, we're going to do a mix of ultramarine blue and cerulean blue. So we'll definitely use those. I'm debating on 
what color I want to use for the orange at this point. I think I think we have lemon yellow on the palette right now. Uh, cadmium lemon. And then I think I might just get some more. Oh, we don't actually have it. So I'm going to use cadmium red light, I think, for the orangish color. And then we'll decide where we want to go from there. New size tool. It's common to get your teacher an apple. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's like a thing here, too. <laughs> I need an apple to feel better. I did eat some grapes and some uh, strawberries this morning, though. Good morning. How is everyone else doing? Even though I'm sick over here, I hope you all are not sick and... Uh, you guys are doing okay. <laughs> we'll make it through the stream today. Um, so I'm thinking, so we've got warm white here. I will put some titanium white on the palette as well. Just trying to decide on what colors I want to use at this point. Some titanium white. So yeah, titanium white. And then beside it is warm white. Probably use this for some highlights since it's more on the blue end and the cooler end. And then for the leaves, I think I might add some sap green. We still have some colors from last week on the palette. I don't know if we're going to use them all. Put some sap green here. Didn't really make room for these new ones on the palette, so they'll just go above. That'll be okay. Yeah, so we'll use sap green, I think, for the main leaves there. And then I was kind of thinking, I think I'll do like a mix of these three for the orange part. And then we've got ultramarine blue. We'll keep a pretty simple palette today, I think. Don't go too crazy with it. Okay. So let's start by... Okay, I'm going to definitely use uh, titanium white and then warm white and then we'll use uh, cadmium red light and then we'll use alizarin crimson, cadmium lemon, uh, sap green, cerulean blue, cerulean blue hue is the one I'm using, and then ultramarine blue as well. And I think that'll be good. We'll kind of just ignore the other colors that are there on the palette. I don't think we're going to use those. So let's start out with maybe the background color. And we'll start with, I think we'll start with the darker areas. So let's work on, let me use my arrow. Let's work on the shadow. Ooh, there we go. Uh, kind of the shadow underneath the orange there. We will do some sort of like, purplish blue color I think. So we'll do a mix of this and then a bit of alizarin crimson. I think like maybe like one third alizarin crimson and then the rest blue because we want it more on the blue end for the shadow. That looks pretty good. I think I want like a super dark one. Yeah, I think that'll be good. I'll put that to the side. I'm going to leave a little bit on my palette knife here. And I'm also going to do a bit more ultramarine blue. And then I'm going to start adding some cerulean blue to it. And this is going to be kind of the darker blue that's right around the shadow. So we're going to like slowly fade it out into a cerulean blue. The background does have like a little bit of like a greenish tint to it. Thought about maybe doing like a bluish green tint, but I think we'll just kind of go with the cerulean blue. That'll be nice. Put that there and then we'll get a little bit more cerulean blue here. I'm going to start adding some titanium white to it, just to slowly tone down that color. I'm 
just took my palette out of the freezer so the colors are not mixing as easily right now. I keep it in there so I can hopefully use the colors a little bit longer. Okay, let's see that. I'm going to hold this up to the picture. I would say we need a lot more kind of like ultramarine blue in that one for the darker area. Give us more of that darker tint that we're looking for. even need to get more cerulean blue if that's or more <laughs> I think the description oh you got the thank you hun got the description sorted out yeah so all of her socials and stuff should be in there and stuff or I guess all of the colors that we're using <laughs> okay I'm gonna take that color I'm gonna keep a little bit on my palette knife again We'll do a bit more titanium white. Make a really light blue here. Almost kind of like a bluish purple. It's like a sky blue, like this one. The reference photo is more on the kind of greenish end, but I think I just want to use the cerulean for that. I think that'll look really nice. And then I'm going to make a slightly lighter one as well, just for the corner. Are the two new colors so this one's sap green and this one's cadmium red cadmium red light just kind of added those I don't think we're gonna use all of the colors on the palette but we have them there I guess just in case today I just didn't really like clean off the palette from last week kept those there okay now we're going to go into the green. I'm going to like take a little bit of this blue off so we don't mix it in with our green tones. So we're going to work mostly on, I guess, like the darker greens in the leaves next. So that'll be our focus. We'll take some sap green, which will pretty much be what we need so I'm just gonna like use sap green as our darker color and then I'm gonna grab a little bit more of it and we're gonna slowly start adding some lemon yellow to it and this will lighten the color quite a bit and I think give us what we're looking for here Let me see. So that's definitely the lighter color. And then take some more cadmium yellow. Oh no, cadmium lemon, sorry. <laughs> and we're making kind of like the lighter parts. I want kind of like a nice bright leaf color. Kind of similar. So we get a nice gradient for different parts of the leaves. And then we need kind of like a more whitish kind of highlight area. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this and then we're going to make a highlight by adding a bit of, I would say, titanium white. It is on more of the bluish green end. So let's see how that goes.
probably a bit more titanium white. Let me see. Yeah. A little bit more titanium in there. So that should be a nice leaf color. Try not to mix too much paint because our painting is pretty small. I'm going to be painting mine on a 3 inch by 3 inch piece of paper. But you're welcome to use any size that you want. I just call this the mini paint challenge because I find it's a little bit quicker to do them on the smaller sizes. Only takes us a few hours normally to get one of these done, which is nice. Okay, that's a nice color. We'll definitely use that for the leaves. And then I also want to work in to the colors over here now. So for the stem, I have this lighter green color already on here. So I'm just going to slowly actually add a little bit of, I'm going to use, um, well, it's kind of there. This one is burnt sienna. Before it goes bad, I might as well use some of that. So maybe add burnt sienna to your palette too. Wasn't sure if I was going to use it, but we might as well just use it for the darker stem area. Put that to the side. I'm going to add a little bit of Wizarding Crimson to it to make it a bit more red. And I'm going to grab some more Ultramarine Blue for that area. Okay. Slowly getting low on that pigment. I bought an extra one recently too. Just adding a bit of ultramarine blue to that and I'll kind of make like a, a dirty brown that's a little bit darker. Which I think is kind of what we're going for for the stem. A little bit of cadmium lemon. Add some green tones into that. You know, that's like a good dark color. Is that for the stem? I'm going to add a bit of sap green into that as well. Do like a half and half sap green is like the extra. Kind of have that greenish tint I think that we wanted. Yeah, that'll be good. Got a mix of those two. And then we're going to lighten this a little bit with some cadmium lemon. Kind of give us like a dirty green brown, which is perfect for the stem part. I think that's kind of what we're going for. Yeah, that's perfect. And then I'm going to grab this color in and mix a little bit of that greenish tone into it. Just to desaturate it a little bit. And that'll be kind of our lightest color. That'll be good. Okay. And now we're going to work on the orange color. So we're going to start with, I think in kind of, here, I'm going to use my arrow. In this part here, there's more like a lizard crimson mixed with the cadmium yellow. I'm going to just quickly clean this off so we don't get any muddy colors because I'm trying to do it a little bit brighter. So I'm going to grab some alizarin crimson. I'm going to mix a little bit of the cadmium yellow into it. 
going to give us a darker color. I think we're going to have to add a little bit of ultramarine blue as well into that to give us that deeper tone there in the shadows. A bit more lemon yellow. Hopefully I didn't add too much lemon yellow there. Let me see. Let's see. It's kind of similar. I need to actually add a little bit more lemon yellow. I end up having to get some more lemon yellow out. This will kind of give us like these shadow colors and it's pretty desaturated normally in the shadow area unless there's like reflections so we're doing a pretty desaturated kind of like brownish color which I think will be good so I'm going to keep that I'm going to keep a bit on my palette so that's cadmium lemon yellow not cadmium yellow light yeah exactly cadmium lemon that's the full name just cadmium lemon I'm gonna add a bit more to the palette here they're pretty much similar so you could use cadmium uh, yellow light as well that's the other one that I tend to use so yeah I have cadmium lemon and then cadmium a yellow light as well. I'm just like running low on the other one, so start using the cadmium lemon. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a little bit more lemon yellow, put it in with this kind of brownish tone, and I'm gonna also grab a bit more alizarin crimson because the alizarin crimson ran out on our palette as well. This is a nice color palette today. I really love using like oranges and blues together. Oopsie daisies. I'm dropping the lid. Okay. Camera view disconnected. That's not good. Let me uh, fix that for a second. Some technical difficulties. Oh, why did the camera view end? It says that it's fine here. Hopefully that uh, connects. And that you can see me. There we go. You can see me again. <laughs> Thanks, then. And, okay, we're going to go back to... So I added a little bit of cadmium lemon to it. Let me just see what we got. I want to make it a bit more orange, so I am going to add some alizarin crimson to it. There you are, back again. Yeah, exactly. Just some technical difficulties. I also have decided that I'm going to get a new webcam for the main painting scene because the colors um, are like a little off, honestly. I want it to be more accurate to what it's like in person and I guess the camera I got isn't very good with that. We looked at some reviews after the fact online and a lot of other people were saying that it's kind of more on the blue end and that it's like auto adjusting so that's why some of the colors look very off. So I think we'll get like a different camera my husband needed a camera upstairs anyway, so he'll just use that one for like his Zoom meetings and stuff because it doesn't really need to be accurate. But we'll get a new one for the stream down here. Okay, I'm going to keep that color there. And then we're going to slowly work into like the brighter colors. So I'm going to use a little bit of alizarin crimson, cadmium lemon again. And I'm going to start adding in a little um, cadmium red light as well. 
I think that'll kind of give us, that's way too dark, so I'm gonna, that is definitely way too dark. I'm gonna put some of that to the side and add a bunch of cadmium lemon to my palette and slowly add that color back in as we need it. That should give us kind of the orange color we need, I think. It's kind of a more muted orange, and I think that's what we need, yeah. That'll be pretty good. It's like the next color. So we're just making like transition colors for the orange right now. I'm going to do lemon yellow, a little bit of cadmium red light. We'll mix that. This will be really bright. What we're going to do is we're going to put this kind of brighter color to the sides. We've got some like colors already pre-mixed there. I'm going to add quite a bit of cadmium lemon. Let's see. That looks like a pretty good yellow transition actually. Yellowy orange transition. I keep a bit of that probably to the side a little bit. Keep a little bit of that to the side. Get some more cadmium yellow because as we get into the brighter areas here, so we're kind of just transitioning from this area all the way up into here. So now we're doing kind of that middle area now. Now cadmium lemon is going to be pretty close, but I'm going to add a little bit of that orange just so we have lots of transition colors because the more transition colors you have, um, the easier it is when it comes to the painting process and the more, um, more realistic it'll look as well if that's what you're going for. I kind of try to err on the side of like a mix of like realism and like painterly. I was saying that the other day. Okay, let's see how that compares. I think that's like probably pretty good. We actually need a brighter yellow as well. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more lemon yellow. Just a little bit more because it's actually very close to like the brightest areas so I think what I'll do is I'll just like almost use like lemon yellow straight out of the tube as like the brightest area which whatever orangey color is on the palette here it'll kind of mix it in a little bit but for the most part it's just lemon yellow let me see yeah, so that'll be pretty good for the bright area. And now we need to get a highlight color. So there's kind of like a bluish highlight on the orange as well. And we're going to try to make some of the texture. We're not going to go for all of the texture in the orange um, because I am painting on a three inch by three inch surface. So the smaller the painting, the less kind of detail that... I mean, you can add a lot of detail, but you kind of almost have to be selective with smaller paintings and what details you want to add. Kind of depends on if you're going, like I said, for the more painterly style or if you want a little bit brighter. Um, uh, if you want it more realistic, that's what I meant. <laughs> okay. So I'm putting this here. It almost has picked up a little bit of the yellow from there, so that's good. Let me see how close that is. We're definitely going to need to err on the side of more of like this cerulean blue color. So I'm going to add a bit more cerulean blue to this. That'll give us a nice blue highlight. And there is some like kind of warmer highlights as well. I, think I might have went a little too blue there. Let me see. Let's try not to add too much cerulean, but you can 
go a little crazy with it sometimes. That is, I think we want this, but I think we also, I'm going to put this with the blue section there. I'm going to also make kind of like a more warm highlight. So I'm going to actually grab the warm white. No, that's like, that's not quite what we need. I think what we need is just some titanium white. And then we need to add a little bit of yellow to it. Not too much. Just the yellow that we have over here on the side. And that'll be our highlight. It's actually on a little bit of the warmer side and that's why it's like good to kind of have a reference photo and to like hold it up to the reference photo and see how close it is so I think that'll be good it's more on like the warmer side and then we've also got a cool highlight so we can kind of go between the two but I think I think we're pretty good we can start painting now so I'm gonna move over to the painting scene got my reference photo here. I'm going to move my camera so you guys can see me a little bit more while I'm over here. Slowly tilt this. You'll be able to see my camera a bit there. And the cat tree a bit in the background. <laughs> okay. I think that should be an okay angle. I should be able to do that. I should drink some water before I start painting. Now I gotta take a little bit of the graphite off of there, so I'm gonna dab that off with an eraser. And then I have my other camera here. I'm gonna film a time lapse here, so. Just making sure the time lapse area is set up. Put a little bit more light on that. Is that pretty good? Hopefully, it's bright enough for you guys. There we go. Just making sure that's all good. Okay, I can start the time lapse. I'm going to double check that my camera is all set up here. My uh, phone camera. So I've got it. I got to get a new mount for this. That's a little bit easier. I have this like mount for it, but it keeps coming off and it like bends in a weird direction. I need to get one that isn't like plasticky and doesn't bend as much. The upgrades for the stream. <laughs> Slowly like upgrading it and, Im and improving these things. go. Okay, so let's grab, oh yeah, I never dealt with this. I hope it doesn't have green in it still. Remember last week we uh, tried to use this and it like leaned on my plant too much and like has like green spots in it. So I'm going to try to like pick out some of the green spots in my eraser. I never thought that like the color of my plant would get in my eraser by accident. It's okay, we're covering up the reference image anyway. Um, all of this sketch is going to be covered up, so it's not a big deal. Just going to... Erase our super basic sketch. <laughs> Oh, well, it was nice that you were here for a little bit. I hope you have a good shift today. 
and hopefully next week I won't be so sick so I I can uh, <laughs> enjoy it a little bit more I mean honestly it's a pretty chill day I'm not gonna be going live because I thought about doing like the live stream on Friday for the vertical live stream but I'm gonna cancel that one this week because I have people coming over this weekend so I need that time to prep but yeah thank you <laughs> yeah you can watch the rerun too I'll keep these up on my channel <laughs> yeah thanks for tuning in hanging out with uh with me this morning my husband said he was gonna sit down here with me he went upstairs I wish he had a laptop so he could like be down here with me sometimes need to get him like a working laptop because he works from home now which is so nice Okay, now we've got to pick out which colors we want. Or not what colors. What am I talking about? Oh, clearly I'm tired. Okay. I'm going to start out with one of these brushes. I'm going to put in kind of like the main colors first on the orange. I'm going to use this brush. So I'm picking out brushes. So yeah, I will start on the orange first, because why not? We will start with kind of this a darker color. We'll go in with some of these deeper colors first, and then we'll slowly build it up from there. So I'm going to take this color into kind of like this bottom section. There's not a ton of this kind of like brownish orange color. Just in these areas here. Okay, so we've got that brown color. Oh, I'm going to grab some linseed oil too. I have a little linseed oil here, a container of it, and I just use that to clean off my brush in between colors. I'm going to grab this color next, a slightly brownish orange. And we're not covering it completely, the area. And then we'll go into this next color here, slightly brighter orange, and this is going to kind of go in between the other colors. And like I said, we're not trying to copy it exactly, we're just kind of going for like the vibe of it. <laughs> bring some of this orange up into the side area here it's kind of like a darker color here we're gonna be doing a background so the lines don't have to be like super flush right now okay I'm going to clean that off and we'll go into the next color. Just 
slowly add this in. This is like slightly more saturated. You can add this orange kind of as a transition. I'm going to even add a little bit of that saturated color into here a bit. Trying not to like blend it out too much either. Grab some of this darker color again. You notice that there's a slightly kind of darker area here. And kind of touch that up later on. Okay, so I'm going to clean that off again. I just have an old cut up towel here. That's what this is. Nothing fancy, just some like old, it's like our towels that turn into dog towels and then they turn into painting rags and I just like cut up old towels, old dog towels. Okay, we're going to go into this slightly brighter orange. Slowly work our way into these brighter colors. It's really going to add a lot of depth once we get these other colors. It's kind of like trust the process. I was talking about that on one of the live streams the other day. There's a lot of like trust the process when it comes to painting and that, you know, just got to like slowly get there. We're going to put the highlights over top. I'm not going to really leave a ton of room. I'll leave some room for like the highlight colors. I'm going to go into this nice bright yellow now. This lemon yellow here. a little bit of white there. That's the nice part is you can kind of use the paper a little bit for like highlight areas. We'll go back in and kind of make a little bit of this darker too. But we'll do that with like the detailed brushes. Try to add kind of those base layers in and then we go back in with kind of the more detailed brushes. So I'm going to grab probably one of these will be okay. This one's like a very like roughed up brush, the tip of it. So I will use that. And I think that'll make pretty good texture. I'm going to go in with the darker color. Kind of. Slowly go in with that texture that I think we're looking for. Grab the orangey color now. This one here, kind of that brighter color because I don't want it too kind of like toned down. And this will feel brighter too as we add in more 
of the background right now it might look a little odd or like not very good the colors might seem off because we've got like the white background right now but we will get there go into some of this yellow color I'm gonna dab that around too not bad I'm gonna like adjust that color over there I'm going to slowly work into that stem color, so I'm going to go in with kind of this greenish color. We'll go back in and add the highlights after. Go in with this kind of brighter green as well. And I'll make sure at the end of this, I'll post a picture of my finished one because I know the colors are a little off on the camera. Not super accurate. And then we've got kind of this white color. Let's slowly go into these darker green colors into the leaf. We're only going to be able to add so much detail into the leaf too. Gonna get some of those darker bits in there and then we'll add some lighter bits as well. Okay. 
I'm going to go into this next color, which is a little bit brighter. The green. Way down in these sections a bit. Okay, I'm going to go into this slightly brighter green. I'm not going to clean off my brush because I'm going to make a little bit of a transition color here. Baiting on adding some of the like brownish color here from the stem into certain areas of the leaf so it's not exactly green. Yeah. I feel like it needed a bit more, more color there. filling in some of these areas. I'm going to go back in probably a detail brush after and add a little bit of detail to that. I'm going to take a little bit of this lighter color here. I'm just going to slowly go in. We'll fix that up with a detail brush. Add a bit of orange into that, honestly. I feel like it needs kind of this darker orange. And then these areas here. Pretty good when we get some detail in there. 
I'm going to add in the background and then we'll do probably going to use maybe this bigger brush. I think number six brush will be okay. Yeah, I think this will be good for adding in the background. So we're going to add in Add in the shadow first, and then, yeah, we'll go back in and add some detail in the orange and stuff after. into this bluish color that we have. I'm kind of dipping my brush into the lighter colors slowly. And I kind of want to make this part a little darker. I like the reference photo. Don't worry too much about blending the colors until after we've got this kind of base layer on. It's kind of like our underpainting where we're just like laying in the colors and then we go back in and we add details and stuff. That's how I like to do it anyway. I think it's kind of Nice to go back in after and then add those details. And then just this initial layer is very kind of relaxed and 
find you can kind of just like relax in this first part and not like expect too much and you're not too focused on adding tons of details. And you can kind of see the bright orange kind of coming out now by adding the blue background in. Going into that lighter color that we made now, the lighter blue. I'm just being careful kind of around the edges here. Don't want it to blend too much. I might keep this one a little bit more painterly today instead of the more realistic ones I normally go with. Painterly look on this one with the background kind of like not blended in fully.
into this next color. Waiting on not blending out the background a bit. Let me. adding an extra shadow here. I'm going to go back in and add some detail now to the orange. And then I'll decide how I want to keep the background, if I want to keep it more painterly like that, or if I want to blend it a bit. Kind of debatable. It's definitely not that blue <laughs> in person. Uh, it looks very blue on the monitor there. Okay, I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab my little liner brush. So this one is a uh, ten over zero. I'm going to start working on the leaves a little bit. So I'm going to work on maybe getting some of this darker part back into it. My coat and my brush in that. We'll slowly start adding some of that detail back into the leaves now. Because we kind of have that base layer done. We're going to start with the darker stuff, but we will go back in and highlight some of these sections.
I tone these down a little bit by blending it in. Don't really want these like super prominent. I'm going to grab some of that orangish color too, the orangey brown color again. And I'm going to use some of that in the leaf here. We're just kind of creating a little bit more depth by adding this extra color in here. this kind of brownish color and I really add some of those deeper colors in there. I'll also go in with this kind of greenish stem color, especially around the bottom here. And then when we add the highlights to the leaves, it'll pop a little bit more by adding these. getting there with the leaf. go in this brighter green color. adding a bit of linseed oil to 
this lighter paint and then it'll glide a little bit easier for the highlight areas. So I wanted to add a bit of a highlight. Along the stem there. Bit of a highlight along here. Adding those highlights there really brings the leaf more to life when you add those highlights there. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Got to add more highlights around the top area here. More highlight over on this side of the leaf too. Can I go in with a bit of this blue highlight too? Just to add a little bit more highlights in certain areas. You don't want to add too much of this like bluish highlight because it'll feel really off if you add too much of it. Just for like the very bright areas. a bit to the tip of this leaf up here too. Okay, I'm gonna clean this off. I'm gonna focus on the stem and then we'll add some more detail to the orange. Go into this darkish green color. Add a little bit more. 
detail in here. Okay, that's coming along there. It's always so nice when you start adding in the highlights and all of the like little details. I feel like it really starts to come together when you do that. Now we're going to start working on the orange and adding a little bit more detail to the orange. So we kind of laid down that base color, but now we can go back in and really adjust those values in the orange to really add a bit more depth. And what I mean by values is, so you can kind of tell like the crease right here in the orange isn't dark enough. So we're actually gonna go in with that darker color again. We're gonna take this I'm going to deepen that a little bit. You'll really start to see kind of a little bit more dimension that way. We're slowly going to add some of the colors and the depth and kind of like the speckledy parts. adjusting my headphones. Hopefully that's not too loud for you guys. So we're going to go in with a little bit of this orange here. Add some of this in the back area here. So this yellow color. We're just really defining these areas. It's a bit more orange in that section, so I'm going to actually go and grab this darker orange again. adjust this value and blend it a little bit. kind of layering this and like pushing and pulling the colors until that's what we want here. I'm gonna add in a little bit of this darker orange.
I'm just adding like a little bit of kind of texture to these areas by just taking my brush and messing around a little bit while it's making kind of like circles. Just kind of trying to shape the orange now. Kind of around where this is. Just adding like little spots here and there. Hopefully we can kind of slowly blend that out a bit. that a little bit more just so it's like less circular the orange sometimes it's nice to just kind of go back in and make the edges like a little a little less perfect Just gonna take this blue around the edge here. We're getting there. Almost kind of going in. I wondering if I want to make it a little glowy around the edges. Add a little bit more cadmium red to it. Just a little bit of cadmium red around there just to add a little bit of extra dimension. Almost kind of like glows a little bit. Get some cadmium red there. Want to add too much of that because it is pretty saturated. But it honestly adds a really nice kind of glow to the orange. A little bit of it there. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit more darkness to this side of the orange because I feel like the shadow areas there are not quite popping out yet. I'm just cleaning off my brush right now. Yeah, oranges are summer harvest, exactly. Summer, late summer, I guess. They need time to... Uh, ripen up. I don't think we have like a lot of fruit trees here in BC. I know like in the Okanagan it's pretty popular like 
a lot of the stone fruits and stuff, but I don't think we have a ton of like, you know, we definitely don't have like mango trees or anything. Oh, that'd be so nice if we could have mango trees. Our growing zone is not that warm. <laughs> Grab some of this lighter kind of yellowy color. I'm just dabbing this on. We're not adding those highlights until we've got kind of this sorted out, to be honest. I'm gonna get all these darker kind of tones. And first before we move on to the highlights at the end. Go into this darker orangish color, brownish orange, I guess. And I'm just slowly gonna dab that into here. Pretty good. Okay, I'm going to add some highlights now into the orange. We said we were going to go with this like warmer highlight that we made here, so that'll be what we do. I'm just going to clean off this liner brush. slowly dab this off to this highlight area. Some more highlights kind of up here.
more highlights kind of along the edges. And there we go. Adding little dots, lots of little dots. It's easier to add the highlights in the little dots. I'm going to also go in and dot in some of that yellow. This one here, cadmium yellow, cadmium lemon. Take some of that on my brush. I'm also going to dab that in too. Okay. You could keep adding detail to this if you want, but I'll probably stop here soon. Just I think I might leave the background kind of like not as blended maybe. Kind of fun. Grab some of that darker color for the stem. Fixing up the stem here a little bit. This will go into this whitish color and Just uh, dropping that. <laughs> okay. Just touch 
switching these things up a little bit. Should we blend the background a little bit? Like debating on blending it a little bit. Especially in this dark area. Just using like a little mini mop brush to blend it a little. that I wanted to blend it a little bit. I'm just gonna grab this and like wipe it off with a cloth. we go. I think I like that. Yeah, there we go. What do you guys think? I think I'm pretty happy with that, so uh, I'm going to call it quits with that. Stand back from your painting and see if it's uh, what you kind of want. I could adjust things, but call it quits and not paint too long today. That was a nice session. Okay, I'm going to stop my time lapse here. And I'm going to go to the thank you scene. I will post a photo, too, of the finished one. But thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. It was nice to do this painting today. Hopefully I'm feeling better next week so I'm not, like, sickly on the stream here. But it's nice got a nice quiet stream. I try not to talk too much so I wouldn't like hurt my throat but I'm glad we at least got a little painting in and I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Make sure here is the rules. I'm going to leave these up on the channel too so you can watch the replays back so yeah. Yeah thanks for hanging out and being here and I will see you guys next week so I will put that up there and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. So I hope you all have a good rest of your day.